Okay, awesome. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Healthy Boundaries for Interpreters. I'm so glad that you're here with us today to talk about this important topic that's really central to our ability to care for ourselves is like building, knowing what's ours that we need to care for and what is not ours that we don't need to be taken care of. That's really like the, the crux of healthy boundaries. So we'll be exploring together today um, and just learning and um, kind of digging in to this topic together. Okay. So I'm going to um, share the slides here. Okay, so this was just a little welcome slide, but just so we know, you'll want your, your handout, um, whether it's on the screen or, or on a paper in front of you, and something to write with, because I will ask you to, um, to digest and reflect and kind of make some notes for yourself. Um, I also am, we'll, we'll have a little exercise in the second half after the break where I'll ask you to have some kind of a tiny object that you can hold in your hand. Like I've got my bottle of essential oil here, but um, it could be a little snack, like a chocolate chip or something. We'll do an exercise that helps us feel into our boundaries with that. So I'll remind you at the break too. Um, and if you have essential oils, we'll use clove and tea tree to start ourselves off this morning. Um, I think the only other thing I want to say here is just to introduce myself and Burnout Proof Academy. So my name is Bree Cross Caldwell. I'm in Portland, Oregon, and I've been an interpreter for the last 20 plus years, uh, mostly in VRS the last 17 years. Um, and that's where I experienced my own burnout. Um, VRS, is, as many of us know, is a, a high production environment in terms of our work and our energetic exchanges with people, um, which interpreting is just really energy heavy, mentally, physically, emotionally. So, um, so that's where I started to experience first physical burnout. I just was in a lot of pain and I wasn't sure why. I felt like I was healthy and taking care of myself and I was doing all the things that I knew to do. Um, and as I explored that with uh, a coach that I was working with, we started to uncover some emotional pieces of our work that I hadn't really been aware of. And that's where I started to feel better. I started to find um, practices and just concepts that helped me to ground in myself more. And as I did that, um, I was drawn to do a life coach certification program myself. So um, in 2013, I became a life coach. And since then, I've married these two passions and I um, work with interpreters on, just on how we can take better care of ourselves so that we can keep showing up and doing our work and not be, not be burnt out in all that that means emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually how we can really give the gifts that are ours to give and also receive what's there for us, not just, not just pouring out from an empty cup, but actually finding ways to recharge ourselves. So that's the work that I do with uh, Burnout Proof Academy. I started this um, maybe 2016, I think, to as a place for us to come together, for interpreters to have connection, have community, be working together on these, these, this focus of self-care, on taking better care of ourselves, um, Because what we know is self-care can only get us so far. We are one person. We need the support of each other. We are working on changing a whole culture that is really focused on the individual and um, we know that support from, um, from society, from each other is really imperative in each of us getting what we need. So this group is really, really important um, to me and to many of you that I see often uh, just to, as, a, as a point of support for us. So I love doing this work. Okay, so welcome. Um, one of the things to that end that I would like to uh, just name and request is that when we're looking at things so personal as 
self-care, how we take care of ourselves or boundaries, how we um, relate and interact uh, and, and identify ourselves separate from other people. I wanna invite all of us to speak from a place of I rather than uh, from speaking from a we or an us and them or speaking for anyone else. Um, it's really uh, so valuable to have a space where we can talk about our own experience. And so I just wanna name that and have us each be mindful that talking about our own experience can be really powerful. Um, and so I'd encourage you to speak from your own experience here today and whatever that, that means. I know that we each have different boundaries around what feels brave, what feels scary to step out and share. And so um, I respect, respect each of your boundaries around how private you wanna be with that, but I would encourage you to stretch yourself a little bit today with that. 